Hello there, neighbor. How is the wasteland treating you on this fine day? Hey guys, it is time to dive straight into the Fallout 76 news. Because yes, once again, they're teasing stuff. They posted this out on their Instagram story. This is the official Fallout 76 uh, Instagram. It says, Greenbriarception. And it shows a screenshot of someone playing inside of Greenbriar, playing Greenbriar. If that makes sense. So yeah, this is a really cool screenshot. I'll go into more about that in just a moment. Plus, we've got further indication as to when we will be seeing Fallout 76 gameplay. I'll just post it up now. I am Fall from Grace, posted this out on Twitter, and she's at the event right now, or headed to the event, and she says, I'm able to show off gameplay on October 8th. And that lines up also with what Pete Hines has been saying the entire time, that we would be getting some sort of gameplay, well, tons of gameplay, 400 hours of gameplay, uh, next week. And October 8th is, of course, next week. So I'm totally hyped for that. But also, I really wanted to uh, mention something I'm super excited about. So a lot of you guys have noticed in the comments, you've been asking, you know, for Xbox One players to squad up with PS4 players, PC players, who's playing the game? You're wanting to squad up. Well, I have started up a proper place to really get together and to find people to talk to about Fallout 76, find squads, talk about builds, PvP, the problems with the games, the game uh, feedback, all sorts of stuff, how to improve the game, and stuff like that. And also, be in the know about Fallout 76. You know, I'll be posting out the latest happenings around the game, uh, videos, live streams, all sorts of cool stuff. This is going to be the place you're going to want to be during the beta and also the launch of the game. I really hope to see you guys there. Also, if you are interested in becoming a moderator, don't be shy. Let me know, especially if you have any previous moderation experience. Let me know uh, out there. And don't be afraid to introduce yourself. Uh, so far, you guys have been great out in the comments. So I really want this to be a place where you can relax, chill, not worry about a thing, and just have fun with Fallout 76. All right, let's dive into this a little bit further. So yeah, that Greenbrier photo. Man, it gets me so freaking hyped seeing this sort of thing. But let's go into a little bit more detail here. Here's like a bigger shot of uh, that image, of course. And it shows off the detail and the lighting uh, that we can see. Everyone noted that the, uh, the lighting engine seems to be improved in this game. They've made big strides with the details uh, with this game as well. Now, if you look in the top right corner, they're very much still... In their infancy in this game, of course, they're but an infant baby. They're still on that Overseer quest. They have moved on, of course, from Vault 76. So it looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to be getting uh, Vault 76 uh, gameplay. And I assume that we're going to be seeing uh, what's like exiting that. And then we're going to be seeing Greenbrier itself, the hotel, perhaps the underground bunker associated with it. But most notably, I can make out just a little bit Flatwoods there. So it looks like we will be seeing Flatwoods. Would we see the Flatwood monster? That could be a very uh, big possibility that they would want to highlight a world event like that, which I think that would be considered a world event that we could be seeing outside, out from this uh, event. So I'm totally hyped. I cannot wait to see all of this. I'm hoping that we're getting a diverse array of stuff on offer with this gameplay. Now, I've heard that uh, anyone that went to the event is allowed to capture three hours of gameplay, which is actually quite a bit of gameplay. I don't think they're going to be leaving with more than that per person. I'd be, maybe they will. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, it's a wide assortment of YouTubers, media, and streamers. Uh, all right, so let's move on, shall we? Uh, here's another shot of the event space as well. There's not much to make from this except that it looks freaking awesome and everyone is on their station. Is there an empty chair? <gasps> I think I see an empty chair. I will take that chair. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, looks like everyone's having a blast at the event. Looks like it is the uh, perfect venue for this, of course. Just a beautiful venue. All right. Uh, let's talk about also a something that someone noticed about bounties and murder and stuff like that, that there's potentially some major exploits to be had with this game. So let's begin. Uh, Zap says this, question about PvP, the murder marker and bounty. How do you prevent players from killing other players, getting a murder in their squad, then killing these murderers themselves so the bounty they have to pay gets uh, back in their own pocket uh, and the marker disappears immediately? 
Now, Pete Hines responded saying it doesn't go back in their own pocket. Uh, but uh, Zap here does clarify. He says, but if I would kill someone, I get a bounty on my head. What if my best friend or maybe my partner in crime kills me? He will get the bounty and could give it back to me. So with two or more people, we would be able to hold that money and delete the murder marker instantly, right? And Pete Hines says this seems like an awful lot of trouble to go through for some caps. And then the response from Zap was, but a very easy way to gank and grief some other people without losing anything, end quote. I don't know why I said end quote, doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, uh, that's very, very interesting there. That could be problematic for sure, and it's why they're doing beta testings. But I do see that being a big problem with the game is these type of exploits. There are many ways they could solve this problem, of course. Uh, perhaps if you're in a squad, you're, of course, not able to kill another member of the squad. And even if you try to leave that squad, the game would have to recognize uh, that you can't kill that player within, I don't know, 24 hours. Or maybe you can't kill that player for the bounty. There's a lot of programming they could do to address this. And I expect them to make the strides to making the game more balanced as time goes on. At least they have to, of course. But let me know what you guys make of that, if that's a huge problem for you. But another way to alleviate this problem and I've said this many times, I'm going to still push for it, is having separate PvE and PvP servers. I really want to see it. It makes the game a lot more uh, easier to get into. Maybe you just want to play PvE and you don't want to be bothered at all. And anyone you run into, you want to group up with them or trade with them. I think that should be an option. I really do hope that the game evolves into offering both PvP and PvE servers in time. Also, check this out. I'll throw this video in uh, the description below. Uh, it's an actual Pip-Boy from Fallout 76. It's like a Pip-Boy build, and this was uh, a video that Tested did. Love those guys. See that video in the description below if you want to see something fun and uh, just have a good time watching a Pip-Boy being built. All right, let's go over top comments and also... Some interesting questions about melee only builds. Is that a viable option in Fallout 76? That's a really good question. I've actually gotten that question myself, and we're seeing the Scorched Beast here. Like, how do you handle this freaking Scorched Beast if you're only wielding like a baseball bat or melee weapons? By the way, does anyone really do that? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so Tyler says, in Fallout 76, will melee builds be a viable choice as a primary source of damage for end-game PvE encounters? Also, just wanted to say thank you to you, you and your team for all of your hard work. Thanks. And Pete Hines says, oops, one second. Let me get Pete Hines' comment up. For some reason, that is the wrong comment. I don't know how that just happened, but it did. Okay, so Pete Hines says, I haven't tried it. But there's a lot of melee support in the way of perks and weapons. My bad, guys. Apologies about that. Uh, so he does say that they really do want to support melee builds in the game. Uh, so that's going to be super important uh, to them, it seems. But honestly, I think you're going to have to consider things like the Scorched Beast and some of these other creatures that are flying, flying around. You're going to have someone have to have someone in your squad, I think, at the very least, uh, that will help you out with long-distance encounters in some regard. Uh, so you're gonna have to keep that one in mind, but yeah, I'm the type of player that thinks going into battle any type of scenario You have to have a wide variety variety of options to be realistic to survive in a game like this uh, So that's what I'm expecting from the game. I don't expect melee only builds I don't know. It, it's something like Pete Hine says that they are supporting melee, but as just a melee only build all I have to say is good luck that's pretty hardcore that you can pull that off that would be freaking amazing hey who knows it could be possible all right let's go over the top comments right now uh so nickerix223 says anybody else get high when he uploads fallout videos that was the top comment on my video man i'm just blown away by the recent support with the videos for real i can't believe it thank you guys so much for the support and love on the videos it just shows how much of you guys love fallout and this universe and uh, you guys really are excited to join in and play together it's kind of you know 
been something that we've all had in the back of our minds for sure, especially even with Skyrim. So, you know, if they were like, hey, we would like to add co-op perhaps to an Elder Scrolls game down the road, I would love that. I would love to see that happen because the world of Skyrim is gorgeous. And they're even, you know, modders are even pushing the limits trying to make a co-op, uh, you know, mod for Skyrim as well. But I still want single player to always be supported. I've been playing the hell out of single player games lately. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Spider-Man, God of War. I can go on and on. Single player is definitely not dead. It's just been proven that they sell like hotcakes still to this day, day excuse me, <laughs> single player games. All right, next top comment, it comes from Account Suspended, who says, wish they'd live stream the event, to be honest, and got 86 upvotes on that one. I totally agree with you on that one. Uh, hopefully they do something like that. I should try to see if I can find out, because that would be nice for YouTubers and streamers that are not at the event, at least I can, you know, kind of uh, recap and make produce content and also see what's going on. So, yeah, I totally agree with you for sure. But it sounds like Bethesda again is going to be posting their own gameplay and stuff. Uh, so, that is really good news. Next comment comes from Joseph Stalin, who says, Oh boy, I can't wait to reestablish communism. I'm scared. I can just imagine him playing the game. It would be like PvP 24-7. Uh, but uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Getting totally hyped over here for more. And also, mark down October 8th, because it seems like that's going to be the day when gameplay is revealed. And do not forget, again, see that link in the description below. Join the Discord. Would love to have you guys out there talking about Fallout 76. And uh, yeah, seeing this new... Green Briar Seption screenshot. Man, can you imagine roaming around the Green Briar? I wonder how much of it you can actually roam around. You know, I don't imagine that they will make every room explorable in this one, but I think the bunker would be a huge part of it, and maybe they would allow you to go up to the second story. But I'm curious to see if this is going to be an area where players really hang out in this game, like a meeting spot or something like that. It's interesting because you've got to consider. Again, that there's no, you know, NPCs that are going to be greeting you. So, I'm curious to see how this is going to be received uh, as well. That's going to be interesting. Or if the world could feel empty. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping that there's maybe, you know, a funny robot that can greet you. Hollow tapes that you can take on missions and stuff. So, again, we'll see how this game turns out. I'm crossing my fingers that it really turns out good. Again, you know... Previously, in the most recent video, Todd Howard spoke about how important feedback is going to be to this game experience, and uh, they're going to be really in tune to what you guys have to say out on all the communities, Reddit, YouTube videos, uh, the comments, everywhere. So don't be afraid to give your opinion. Well, guys, thank you again for watching. Stay tuned here to Open World Games for more Fallout 76 and Open World Gaming goodness. And I will see you guys soon enough in the wasteland. Take care, everyone.